1970, Jerry Williams Jr., who had had a career as a songwriter and a producer since the mid-50s, wanted to get more creative freedom. So he reinvented himself uh, as Swamp Dog, which was both a working name and a kind of persona that he took on. Uh, This was uh, in the American South. Um, So he made music in several different styles, and he has recorded 25 albums so far. Hi, my name's Dan. Uh, So this was the first album by Swamp Dog under that name, and um, it's my first encounter with him in any sense. So this has been a a journey of discovery for me. Uh, So I have seen this described as being deep soul, um, and I think I kind of maybe get what that means. So um, it kind of sounds like soul. Um, I, I... Detroit Soul, but you know, names like Wilson Pickett particularly came to mind for me. But it's a little bit less glossy, um, and it's kind of therefore a bit more earthy in its approach. It's got elements of the South in here. Um, there's uh, certainly a lot of horns, as in brass instruments, uh, uh, in here, and there's there's elements of funk. There's quite a bit of that. In, in that so i'm i'm not entirely sure but i think at least some of this album was recorded with uh, the muscle shells rhythm section who were famous at the muscle shells studio uh, um and uh i'm not expert enough to say whether that sounds like them but i can um i can say it's certainly plausible uh, to my my ear there is uh, on some of these songs a bit of a cajun edge but especially in the slower songs um and that's uh somewhat maybe not as strong as uh would be if they put an accordion in there because the accordion sounds very cajun uh, but the style and the the rhythm has got kind of a feeling like some of the uh, um the cajun stuff that i've heard or kind of similar you know some stuff on the edge of cajun there apparently there's also a deliberately inclusion of uh, 60s rock sounds i'm not sure i can necessarily definitively identify them in here uh, the singing i would say is a bit like james brown um not quite as powerful but uh, decent and overall i feel like it reminded me quite a lot of uh, the blues brothers movie and the blues brothers style r&b um which is something that I've always loved. So so it's good. So we've got songs here about lots of different things. So part of the point of uh, being Swamp Dog was that uh, he wanted to have the freedom to be able to talk about anything that he wanted to talk about and for some reason felt um, fettered in his uh, normal working world. Uh, so created this persona who would just say anything, what he felt like. Um, and so there are songs here that about uh, protests about the, sound, the, the state of the world. I'm not going to go through all the songs, but most of them are going to pop up here. Uh, so the Synthetic World uh, and The World Beyond is a, a track about uh, devastation after a nuclear, a nuclear, nuclear holocaust. Uh, Born Blues about um, uh, racism uh, and is an interesting song. Um, yeah, it's done with a certain amount of satire to it. Uh, There are a couple of songs about complex family and certainly about um, complex parentage. So uh, there's one, The Baby Is Mine and uh, Mama's Baby, Daddy's Maybe, which are the last two tracks on the album. There's a couple of tracks about other other types of people. Um, And uh, I gather from this that he's talking about types of people that it is a little bit critical of. Um, So one of these is Redneck. um, The other one is These Are Not My People, which I think is about high class uh, society and apparently there was a uh, influence of lsd on some of these tracks and uh, i could potentially spot that with a uh, dust your head colored red there's a song called salafasta and i didn't really know what salafasta was so i went looking um and um i couldn't really find much information the implication from the song is that it's some kind of substance that you drink that maybe gives you some kind of uh, stimulation um but the only references I could find to it were about this song and about people asking what Salafaster is. So I really don't know. I enjoyed it as an album. Um, I felt like it was like 
just one step away from the mainstream, as if mainstream was kind of like a, a tarmac path you might be on, and this is uh, uh, just like you know one jump off the path onto the grass, so it's just slightly off. But it, it, yeah, it's good. Not a long way off, but just a little bit. Um, and there's uh, an intensity and an earnestness about it that I, I enjoyed. Um, so yeah, it was a good album. I enjoyed it, and I'd love to know what you think, so please talk to me through the comments box. That's it from me for now.